Hey, Bjorn Strong on the arm here. Welcome back to Disco Elysium, where it's nighttime. We need to go to bed and maybe take care of some other things in our room. See you in the morning. Yes, indeed. Let's close that door. Bye. Okay. Now we're going to sneak away from him. Can we? Oh, it's not going to let me sneak away from him? That's... Uh, that's dirty. I want to go out. Okay. All right. So Kim has let me go. I want to try... There's a dude down here who's got something, like a card or something. I want to try stealing it from him. I don't know why. I guess I'm just a bad human being. But let's see what happens. If uh, we come and just... He's a deep slumber... Just try to steal his ID. I have a high chance of getting it. Your fingers find their way into the sh shackle, flicking open its spring-loaded gate. The metal loop holds a plastic ID and a leather-bound pocketbook. And the man? The man emits a loud snore. Is he about to wake up? Doesn't look like it. We never know. Better be quick. Um. Do I want to take the pot? I don't want to take his money, but I will take the document. It's a plastic ID card out of the loop. Just for the record, looked nothing like the man in the dark document. Do I want to take what's in his pocketbook? I mean, that seems dodgy. It's $5. So you find a black paper note with a woman's profile on it. It seems like this woman lived centuries ago. The note says, five real. It feels nice and greasy. Yum, yum money. Think of all the things you can buy with this. The synapses of your brain fire with glee. Close it up. All right. He hasn't said anything. I don't know if anyone else has seen me. I do feel a little bad about it. Uh, can I... I wonder if... So... There are those boots. On... I wonder if I can get into Kim's car. And get the boots. Because when I go to the um, list of kind of tasks. One of them is... Get the hangman's boots. And it says, Kim has to be absent. He wouldn't approve. Uh, so buy has to be down. Odd stuff you have to finish. And Kim has to be absent. It'd be really tricky. So don't be yourself up if you manage to send the body to processing without getting hold of the boots. But I think... I don't think we've sent him to processing yet. Have we? Maybe we have. Oh. Okay, Kim's, Kim's car is gone. So, okay. We, we missed it. We can't get the boots. That's fine. All right. So back up to the room. All right, there's not a lot we can do in here. I want to um, start with... Uh, it's not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's cleaner than you are right now. Uh, ah, that soap scum smell. It smells like life, at least compared to you. Run yourself a bath. The bathtub slowly fills the water. The water beckons. Undress, close your eyes, and submerge. The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting like amniotic fluid. <laughs> Because I really remember that. A few beer cans are bobbing up and down along your flanks like sad duckies. You feel nice and lonely and so, so tired. Take the beer cans out. Now you're alone with your thoughts in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. I'll linger in the tub a little. Your fingers grow pale and are covered with tiny whorls. The water's cool. Imagine something. You see the corpse. You can still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then, houses along a narrow street. A video rental. Darkness on the planet's curvature. Huh. Get out. The water line recedes as you stand. You're cold now. Your clothes stick to your still moist skin. Now let's try the mirror again. Um, a mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It, in it, your face adorned with the expression. Actually, hold on a second. Let the mirror be for now. I think... Uh, okay, the, the, the faucet's been fixed. So, oh no, it has it. It's down here. I thought there was something like this. Use your chain cutters to fix the faucet. Stop steam from fogging up the mirror. I failed. I'm not shocked. I kind of thought I would. Um, now I can try to use Encyclopedia to dig deep into my mind to locate the source of the expression that I'm making. Success. 
It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, free market economy seemed like the ultimate uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly, disco happened. Forget about ostentatious orchestrations. For Revachal, your city, that meant only one thing. Guillaume Le Maillon. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music in an open-air boite de nuit somewhere in Revachal West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit, then he made the expression. Uh, so I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. So I feel the need to make out a clicking sound when I make it. Click, click. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Moyon's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. Sometimes you like to add finger pistols to the mix because unlike Guillaume Le Moyon, you are a police officer. It's your nifty little way to say, I'm armed and dangerous. How long ago was the new? There was a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression looking good on you or anyone. Two decades of the calendar is to be trusted. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression is a relic. Anything else like who I am? Why did I become a cop? But I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of the near history of disco, plus a trivia you've picked up along the way. Episodic memory, however, remains in the dark. It may never return. You should prepare yourself for that. All right, well, does this have anything to do with ostentatious, ostentatious orchestrations? Not really. Oh, oh, must have just stirred your mind. They're more like a disco rock band anyway. I guess that's it then. Okay. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return? So I can try to um, attempt to stop the expression from happening. It says it's impossible. I have to basically roll double sixes for this. So come on, big money, no whammies. Not surprised is a failure. We're going to let the mirror be for now. Okay, I've got a new thought. Uh, Guillaume's million. Uh, I could try to think about him and remember him. I, I, I'm sort of liking the rigorous uh, self-critique right now. I, I have two skill points also. I could unlock more slots for more thoughts. Um, I don't want to worry about that stuff. And also... Uh, I've, I could spend more on some skills. And I haven't really thought hard about what I uh, want on that. So maybe I'll, I'll come back to it. First, let's sleep. Crawl on in. The sheets feel at once coarse and clammy against your skin. The be bed, sags, bed sags beneath your weight as you stretch out and finally close your eyes. And then sleep doesn't come. Oh, geez, I'm an insomniac, but I want to sleep. Obviously, you're in bed with your eyes closed, but it's not happening. Why? Maybe it's the bed's fault? Check the pillow. Its synthetic filling is separated into hard lumps. The pillowcase smells oddly. Smell of alcohol and sweat and grease. Check the blanket. It barely covers your toes, stretching over your soft belly. This is your body here, intimate and warm, breathing. Under your thrumming eyelids, see a dizzying array of colors. You won't get off this carousel quite so easily. Roll to the other side. A little better. Colors, scenes, and half-formed phrases still littered your mind. Parts of you still trying to solve the case, isn't it? No more thoughts. Fall asleep now. Your breathing steadies. A great silence washes over you until your eyelids twitch in your sleep and images. Images start forming. Dreams, perhaps? Am I walking towards the case? Can I go anywhere else? I don't think I can. I think the case is the only option. All right, what are we gonna find in here? Hopefully that little punk's not still throwing stuff. It's me, hanging from a disco ball. Of course it is. Do you remember? 
remember the scent of your childhood. What is this? What it says on the can, Harry. Answer the question. I remember nothing. Do you remember your wife's hand on your face? I'm not answering before you tell me who you are. You know who I am. I'm the bad day. The one where you ask her, and then later in the streets wandering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? You said, who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs, between her legs and in her mouth? So I can either say that I left or that I was left. I think I left. Oh no, funky baby, you stayed. It was the rest of it that left. While you just stood there with one hand on the bottle and the other on your dick, watching it go. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Where the hell are yours? There's, I can get it all back or I don't want to come back. I mean, I want to have a new life, but that's not an option. I guess I'll say I can get it all back. No, it's gone. Three times gone and never coming back. You failed. You failed me. Who are you? You failed Elysium. What is Elysium? Everything. The pale and the isolas on the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning furious truth. 8,000 years of written history. So Elysium is the world? You really dropped the ball, Harry. 4.6 billion people and you failed every single one of them you really fucked up what are you talking about i've talked to you before no harry you were just talking to yourself that's all you ever do even in your dreams and the act is wearing thin the spots on the disco ball fade around you. I mean, I know I'm talking to myself. This is the same voice that was uh, the lizard reptilian part of my brain at the very, very beginning of the game. You'll be back in those cold yep. snake skins in no time. Sweating up the bed. Stinky boy. I can come back from this. You're not coming back from shit. Thrashing around in that high conductivity state of yours bumping into things and acting like a clown who are you kidding so my options are i'm trying to solve trying to solve the case my mind is tired and broken and help me the thing is i think the help he's going to offer judging from where he's sitting is not what time i'm going to want i'm trying to solve this case you're trying to what i can't hear you this is just a word dream now Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet, grinding in your head. Yep. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad. This dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. Oh, there's another. There's another type of hangover. Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes to so soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. Time to go to work in the shit factory. Man, my brain really hates me. Holy cow.
And that healed my morale, nonetheless, amazingly. All right, up and at him. It's a new day. Oh, jeez. Thoughts. Good going, buddy. Um, what the hell was that? Oh, just a dream. You have ones like that all the time. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. What the hell's going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? So tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. Um, no, that's not it. Really, I feel super good. That's not really true. Your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. Uh, don't do that. Stay strong. The hangover will wear off. You don't need to keep doing this to yourself. No, I can take this. I am not going to go looking for speed. Are you sure? Ready to live with this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically a week? Let's be honest. Two weeks. Maybe three. You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You'll be fired. It's a lie. I can do this without the speed. Half the town won't be dead. See yourself, slow, sad shell man. See how you do without your spark. Alright, so... I wonder if I'll get some sort of penalty. Um, what happens if I look in the mirror this morning? Looks just like it did last night. All right, so looking at that, I think I, what I want to do with my points, well, I, I, I'm really worried about the rigorous self-critique thought that I'm not going to like it. So I want to be able to, um, I want to save one of these points to unlock it if I need to. So these must be all locked. I can't even try to get them. Uh, but uh, do I, what I'm wondering, do I want to spend one of my points on unlocking? Oh wait, why did these say unlockable? And now it says unlock. Maybe it means unlock and then this means just it's locked and it's just kind of a weird language thing. Um, I see. Anyway, I'm going to leave that for now. I would, I think, the Inland Empire is doing pretty good. I'm not quite sure. I feel like a little more interfacing would be good, actually. And maybe I can also get that thing... Um, that thing in my, uh, in my inventory sorted out. So I have to find money for rent to pay for guard, find the armored gloves, investigate apartment number 10 for the cleaning lady, which I'd love to do, the smoker on the balcony, track down your gun, run the number on the victim's armor, which we can do now, I think. So, okay, but I want to go to my stuff here. Um, what can I interact with? I want to interact with the damaged ledger again. I want to try to open the hidden compartment. Finally. So just relax. The two sides of the board are slightly misaligned. Like a drawer has come off the slides. All you need to do is bend the plastic on your knees slowly. And sli the slides snap back into place. It should be possible just to, you know, slide the drawer open. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. What's inside? Two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Pick up the ticket stubs. Two octopuses are smiling, reaching their tentacles towards each other in the colored pencil drawings. The ticket permits uh, permits access to a zoo in Revachal East. The aquarium costs extra. These let you go there too. Pick up... <laughs> kill yourself? Or close the compartment? Pick up the card. The wax paper has been glued to a piece of cardboard. It sounds like leaves rustling when you pick it up. You see violet flowers, floral patterns, patches of glue. Smell it first. It smells of chewing gum, apricot flavored. A touch of cinnamon, the end of summer. You think the label says tutti frutti. Open it. Familiar handwriting lines the inside of the card, looped round letters in a woman's hand. A young woman in her 20s. There is care, effort, and a smile, you think, although it is not something you can read from someone's handwriting. Harry, it begins, you're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it will make you happy. Throw it away, please, says Volition. But it'll make me happy. Outside you hear the wind howl. A sudden gale blows in from Martinace, flapping street signs and window blinds. 
Uh, come outside, says, say my shivers. What are shivers? I don't quite get what shivers are. I want to... I'll take this outside, I guess. Is it if I... Is it that I can interact? Okay, I can interact with it after I go outside. So let's put the ledger away. Um, come outside. Like maybe out in the balcony. And I've noticed happily I don't seem to have to eat in this game. Okay, now I'm outside. Let's go back um, to here. Let's interact with this. Open the hidden drawer again. Hold it. Um, why am I smelling it? I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, I don't need anyone. Okay, slide the hidden drawer open. Pick up the card again now that you're outside. Um, this wax paper has been... Yeah, same thing. Open it. Okay. Um... We've read this before. Harriet begins. You're already reading. I wanted to write you a letter so you can read it when you wake up. Maybe it'll make you happy. Volition says, throw it away, please. Keep reading. Your hand shakes holding the card. Every morning when I step out and you're asleep behind me, it says a fun little piece of sadness in me. I carry it in my chest down Voyager Road. Every step, step I take, it grows. By the time I reach the fuel station, it's filled me entirely. I step on the light rail and look back. Sparks fall from the bow collector. I know it will be like this until late afternoon when I get off the 49 and walk back to you. Keep reading. You, you, every step I take will get lighter. It almost makes me run. Sometimes I do. I can't believe I met you. I can't believe the happiness I feel with you. You have a vast, vast soul, and I will always, always, always come back to it. Keep reading. Kisses, kisses, kisses. You feel the air sucked out of your lungs and the blood sucked out of your head. Everything around you gets dark. Small white dots appear. You feel the ledger slip from your hand. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. To what? There's nothing. Fall sideways. You fall sideways. Wait, what? Disco Elysium. What is going on? Begin? There is nothing. A guy. Nothing? Nothing, said brother. No treachery. Just blackout. Why they're passed well, out? Almost nothing. There is the ground below you. That's still there. And the small light that's on, fluttering somewhere in the basal ganglia. Who's that? That's me. Blue eyes. That's me. And who was that? Who was what? He speaks of the sickening longing. The unwell emotion. Even in the darkness he's grasping for it. Still trying to hold on to the great sorrow slipping in the water. Slimy. Yeah, that's the stuff. Here in the paleomammalian cortex, we call it the shadow. Because it's always there. White morning. Tell him, tell him, says Perception. Ah, yes. And in the old factory system, they call it the apricot chewing gum scented one. It's unhealthy of them to linger on it so. But as they say, what do you do? It smelled so nice or it smelled like betrayal? It smelled so nice. It didn't smell nice. It smelled like betrayal. Was that the X something? Bloated corpse of the past resurfacing. No, it was beautiful. Beautiful. Believe me, stupid ape, its lack of beauty was not the problem. All right, well, where is Voyager Road? There is no Voyager Road. There are no roads, no houses, no lights in the windows. It's all on pause. So my name appears to be Harry. Your name is fuck all. It certainly ain't Harry. Then what is it? Your name is passed out on the ground, dragged around by one of the other evil apes. They're taking you somewhere. All right, just lie there motionless. You think they would let you until you disintegrate into biomolecule? No. Someone is breathing on your face now, inspecting your pupils, stupid idiot. What is that? It's cold. Yes, they're pouring something on you. Something in you. Oh no, it's that alcohol, is. isn't it? 
Oh, it's delicious. Glowing lights on a dashboard emerge out of nothingness. Where am I? In the upholstered cabin of Lieutenant Kitsuragi's motor carriage, seated in the driver's basket, the air is thick with leatherworks and heavy fuel oil. Cold water runs down your chin. Drink water. Thank you, Kit. The lieutenant is going to need a small canister to your mouth. Uh, drink. The water is cold, silvery, the stuff of life itself as it pours down your parched throat. The pounding in your head recedes, the darkness parts. Drink, he tilts the canister. You haven't drunk water in two days. Do you know the human body is not made to survive on alcohol alone? You need a secondary form of hydration. Drink. With greedy gulps, you down half a liter of cold water. Some of it spills in the driver's seat. The lieutenant pays no heed to it. What happened? I should ask you the same. There was a call on the shortwave. Officer out, passed out in Martinez. He forwarded his brow. I had a feeling it would be you. I'm glad I got here in time. How long was I out? I don't know. It could have been quite a while. He looks you in the eyes of inspecting your mental state. I came in contact with the burnout ruins of the past, Lieutenant. Item gained. Ledger of failure and hatred. That does sometimes happen. He hands you the, rem the remains of your ledger. He replies with such understanding as... It's as if the burnout ruins of the past were an occupational hazard. Athlete's foot for cops. I found this next to you. He pass pauses. I'll tag along for the rest of the day, if you don't mind. My business is concluded anyway. Are you okay to go? Yeah, let's solve this case. Good. The ledger of failure and hatred is a special item that can be used both as an... In interactable and a tool equipped in your hand for skill bonuses find it in the tools section in your inventory interesting as a tool you get plus one to inland empire and plus one to um uh empathy but minus two to authority my authority is already kind of sucking right now so all right and over here my rigorous self-critique. I still have two hours and 15 minutes left on this. Thoughts. In the morning light, the white and blue police livery on the motor carriage cannot but catch your eye. Why am I even thinking about this? Wasn't I supposed to do something important? Something murder-related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean you can't take a moment to admire this piece of machinery. This is a... Kupri Kinema, the Kupri Motor Corps follow up with their highly successful workhorse, Kupri 40, and the answer to LUM's Racing Bread Fevre series. With its air cooled, rear mounted 12 cylinder compression ignition engine driving the wheel wheels through a four speed manual gearbox, the Kinema is able to reach 100 km per hour in 13.5 seconds and go on to a top speed of 180 km an hour. Uh, Want to roll over in the first sharp corner? The high center of balance is offset by a large battery bank mounted at the bottom of the cabin, feeding all the auxiliary systems and making the Kinema effectively a mobile power plant. This tech talk is really rubbing me the right way here. Due to a quite steep price tag, it is very unusual to see one in police li liver livery or livery. I always forget what the right way to say that. Uh, that machine really puts the loco back in locomotion, point to the vehicle. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant smiles ever so slowly. You want to take a closer look? What's a pack in there? Point to the engine. 130. An advancement to the KR18GU engine of the Copri 40, to be precise. It must be an advancement of the KR18GU engine older 40 models, right? Yeah, you know it? Lieutenant seems surprised. Uh, just the basics. Cast iron blocks, uh, swirl chamber injection, dual chains driving over a camshaft, two valves per cylinder, hydraulic valve lash adjustment. Uh, yes, that's right. He stares at you in surprise. I'm very impressed that you know these things. A fine machine. Run your hand over the smooth metal surface. Yes, there's gentleness in the lieutenant's voice as his eyes run over the vehicle's contours. An extraordinary machine. Helium headlights would improve the range and quality of the visual field a lot. Ever thought about switching to helium headlights? I actually have a pair at home. Just haven't gotten around to fitting them yet. I need to lay some wiring for the ballast first. If we ever get this case solved, maybe we can do it together. You want to help? He glances at you and smile. Thank you, smiles. Thank you for that, off that offer. That might be fun. Let's do the case first, though, all right? He liked the idea. All right, let's move. Okay, um, something else in my... Is jumping around in here. Uh, there are items that I want to interact with. Can I... 
I can't really interact with the dock, which the dock workers card. Um, I've I've done interactions, I think, with all of these, and haven't gotten very far. Like, yeah, there's what would I need to be able to get that actually to figure out who shot it? It would need more encyclopedia. No, hand-eye coordination, which I don't think I'm really want to put a bunch more points into although what what's my xp it's a 40 out of the 100 i do have that skill point again i saved that in case i i when i get this i decide i want to unlock uh, unlock it if it gets me like a negative bonus i don't like oh kim wants to talk to me morning he gives you a quick nod i've got good news the lieutenant smiles to care of the body the thought of him decomposing in my mc wouldn't let me sleep uh good thanks I was glad he's gone. With other matters to attend to. Oh well, we'll get the armored boots in another lifetime. The lieutenant is downplaying his contribution. He got up before the sunrise to get this done, and now he's quite pleased with himself for taking care of the gruesome business so efficiently. Uh, he points to the mess hall doors. The union muscle finally turned up and looked rowdy. We need to talk to them. What do you mean rowdy? I mean, a, a governable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCM being here. They prefer to be policed by the union. These men here... Men who drink beer for breakfast? There's talk of an armed wing of the Union called the Hardy Boys who are responsible for, for said policing. I think it's them. Uh, maybe we should call in reinforcements? That would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debardieu's Union. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? All right, these are the men that Gart told us about us yesterday. I completely forgot. He looks at his notes. Sorry, I had a rough night's sleep. It's them by the looks of it. Loud and nasty, just like the manager said. All right. He crosses something out. One loose thread less to worry about, and one big problem to replace it. Why do we need to talk to them? Everything points to the dock workers' union. The belt used for hanging him, tracks in the mud, the circumstances in Martinez, my preliminary information, which may, of course, all be wrong. We still need to talk to them, and it won't be easy. All right, let's roll. One more thing before we do. He glanced at the booth again. We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them, continue with our business. Good, a power move. Purposely concentrate on something else first. Streetwise, zoom right past, do it on your own terms. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. Anyway, I'll leave that choice to you. Whenever you decide is fine by me. So I, sus I bet that conversation was meant to happen like on the balcony because it wasn't, the game didn't expect I was going to open that thing first thing in the morning. But let's, here's what I want to do, actually, to kind of finish up for today, is I want to get on the horn and, uh, and, f um, and, yeah, and ask Alice if we've heard back from the ICP about the serial number. Yes, the armor was produced by, she looks at her notes, Fairweather and their facilities in Benacourt sur le Chef in 42. It was part of a special order for Corps de Pharmacie, a security firm contracted to protect the interest of Orange pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies in the Seminine conflict. She browses the pages. So it seems the armor, arm, the armor went to Seminine. That's where the paper trail ends, though. Even the firm has proven difficult to track. Corps de Pharmacie has been renamed several times over the in the years. Sorry, several times over in the years since the armor was issued. Do you know what it's called now? The most recently registered firm that the ICP has been able to connect to the CPD is a military contractor called Krenel, and the one before it was Downwell. I think they might be the same contractor. A suit of armor like this would have been manufactured with a particular person's physique in mind. You should ask for whom the suit was fitted. First, had the firm continued to work for pharmaceutical companies through all these name changes? Hard to say. Their client list is rather diverse and incomplete. The only constant seems to be that the mercenaries are always deployed in third and fourth world countries. While well, a suit of armor like this would have been customized with the wearer, there must be a record of the person to whom it was issued. Yes, but the ICP tends to be reluctant to stare private sector records. I could try to talk them into it, though. This is a fun challenge to her, an opportunity to contribute beyond doing her job by rote. She'll gladly put in the extra effort for Team RCM. Um... I can say, yes, thank you, officer. I really appreciate your efforts in this case. Or yes, please do try. It's imperative we learn who ar whose armor this was. I kind of feel like this is going to make her feel more proud and part of the team. Um, sure, call back tomorrow. Hopefully I'll have more information for you then. All right. Uh, I'm done with the radio for now. 57th over and out. 
So we'll close the door. So uh, when we tomorrow we can see maybe with the uh, identity of the uh, information for call back in the day for info on the armor's uh, owner. So we have to find uh, money for rent to pay a guard. So one thing I really need to figure out is where we are going to find a bag. So I can start collecting bottles and getting money that way. I've got 17 real. I need at least 20 by the end of the day just for like my next night uh, stay, so to speak. But anyway, it's clear that our dude is dealing, our dude Harry is dealing with some really, really heavy stuff. And I mean, hopefully we can help him get through it. But that is all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.